What's up, happy gamers? Here we are again, Lords of the Fallen, I'm doing a brawler playthrough, and we're about to enter the catacombs. So let's head on inside and pick up some loot and take out some enemies. When you first enter here, you've got your save point. Go ahead and take advantage of that. Um, how much XP do I have? 3,000. Oh, I'm just going to hold on to it. And then, when you cruise down here, there's get your... Uh, Quake spell ready because there's going to be a knight. Let's have him do his attack. And then I'm going to pump up my spell and smash 1140 damage. Oh, another thing. So that trinket that we got in the abandoned temple area, greed. I looked it up. You want to equip it. It does 20% more magic damage at the cost of 20% less magic overall. And since we have a ton of magic, um, I'm going to go ahead and equip that and do even more damage. Isn't there another knight here? We just did 1140 damage, I believe. And I think there's another knight. There he is. Don't go out there. Try to bait him over to you. These places are just filled with enemies on the left and right sides. Let's see how much damage we do this time. Wait, 288. Hmm. What just happened there? Something peculiar. Let's pretend like that didn't that didn't happen. Okay, so first door on the right, rune slot. And this is one of the better axes in the whole game. This you can actually, if you're crafty enough or sly enough, you can actually go the back way into the graveyard and pick up early before you even fight the Grave Lord, or uh, why can't I remember his name? Anyways, let's start heading through some of these passageways. There's two switches in here that we ultimately have to press to be able to get to the champion boss fight, or switch, I should say. Oh, uh, probably after you defeat the champion, that opens up too. Human skull, I'll take it. Be careful when you're going through here. There are some shield guys that love stabbing you. Am I doing less damage with greed? I want to get Ram on. Is this guy going to wake up? No. There he is. I knew there was one of you right here. Ah, don't get me. <laughs> okay. Let's head this way. Oh yeah, here we go. One hit, he should come back to life. Yeah, here he comes. Okay, take him out. What do we get? We've got some daggers. Okay. Here's through here. Keep opening up doors. Eventually, there's going to be spiders. Get these guys. 960 damage off that spell. Thanks. Living Legend Heavy Armor set. All right. Yeah, there he is. There's an archer down at the end of this. Be careful about. Let's see if we can get two for one right now. Archer down at the end? Got him. It's his fault for walking out. I thought that there was some loot right here, but I guess not. Uh, that's what I was thinking. Okay, so I'm just going to start with the left. There's an enemy. Anything behind me to get? That doesn't open. No. Okay. <laughs> Smack. Love it. I love chipping away at them like that. guy's probably going to come back to life, huh? So this is going to open up right back where we entered the catacombs. Oh, he's he's alive? Alright. I'll show you that in a second. Get this audio log. Open the chest. Oh no, did I just ruin that audio log? <laughs> Telling us about Antanas. All the cold blood light armor stuff. Okay, so see, there's the save point. Just go ahead and do another save. 
Now I'm going to go back where we came from and we'll choose. Oh, hey, hello. We'll choose the next path. We're going to go left. There, I thought that there was an item. Okay. Human skull. And then we've got a couple guys here. Oh, okay. It's one of those. I don't know what they're called. I should look that up so I have, so I can actually continue a conversation with myself here. Now we can use some crafting at this point too. Evil That's great. Lives in this world. I, have I don't to think any of this stuff opens. There is no way to really drive it away. No. The only thing I can do is channel it into new forms, mutations. Okay. They may be our future. Let's head down here because I think this is a dead end to a spider with an item. The alternative oh, there's another spider. I did not bail fast enough, did I? And here is a little secret spot. Okay. Sweet. Okay. This place has a pressure plate. Um, if you go up that ramp, I'm going to a different direction. No spiders? All right. There's so much loot down in the catacombs. It's fantastic. Blood sick, short sword. Blood six, a unique weapon you can use towards an achievement. All right. So there's the pressure plate. I'm not going to use it yet. In here, we'll do a boss fight with the champion. Got a human skull. Take this stuff. And set up our prayer spell. Excellent. And now run. And it's just here on the right. Cool. No. Good. I thought that there might be a spider. I'm always worried about a spider. So many human skulls. Twinkling axe. Okay, let's bail out of here. Come on, there we go. Sounds like the gate closed behind us. I don't know that I want to go that way just yet. I forget. Okay, so that's blah, blah, blah. Because this connects up to an area we'll come to later. So I'm not going to go that way. I'm going to go back down here and head left. For the next way of that sort of three-way split. There we go. Oh. Yeah, I'll just shoot you. Wink. <laughs> Anything else from these guys? No. All right. Continue on and be careful of. I think there's a big knight. Okay, there's a little knight here. Where's the spiders? No. Ooh, what item drop. Okay, I think this audio log. Found it in a grave I plundered a few nights ago. The grave of some Kyle Ember, I think. When I held it, I felt weak. I felt sick. So this is telling us about how to purify a cursed sword. And this altar here is how we upgrade the heirloom axe that we'll get later. I think that the heirloom axe is just in a different part of the mines. And there's an archer right here, isn't there? Yes. God, I can't get three hits out on him because he just attacks too quickly. All right. Now, up here is a shortcut to the tower what's directly above us is the tower that we lit the pyre the fire signal i don't want to go out there right now because it will reset all the enemies in here and i'd rather just blast through as fast as i can but that's how where that shortcut leads it's not again it's like this game has all these little shortcuts that you never use it's strange that they're there so we are coming back up and then we went to all three of these left straight right okay so we went to all of those now we're going to go back across here okay so get ready to do a jump 
Okay, all right. Now where are Okay, there's an audio log. Some people I say it's not even enough. We are still much too all right. forgiving. You can go down that corridor. Should be killed. Like Let's check out this whole circle. We'd be rid of all the sinners and would live in eternal Harmony. peace. Instead, Ooh, a whole medium armor work. set. In Should look that up and see if there's any special bonuses for it. Care. That's the last thing okay. So here. This is, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, it's our save point. Okay, so we've come full circle here. I mean, there's a lot more to explore, but we've basically done everything behind us. Did we do here? We did, right? Yeah, we did that. That's the dimensional portal. Okay, so we've got staircases on the left and right. I'm not going to go up these staircases yet. I want to stay down low and go up these stairs. Here we go. The pit. Ah, I'm gonna die right here. Shoot. Got how fast those guys reset themselves. Here's that archer. Wink. Right to your face. Okay, now let's see if we can bait this guy across the way to kill himself. There's a there's an achievement with this. Where is he? Come here, guy. Follow me. And I won't. I'll try not to go down the pit. See if he'll kill himself here. Or he'll just run across the boards. There we go. So that would be. That's one, one way to get one of the achievements. I forget what it's called. Okay, there's a pressure plate and a rune chest in here. Scab staff, is that going to be anything cool? Looks like no. And it's an agility. I always forget that this, it's like most staffs are agility based. Is it this that doesn't open? Yeah, okay. So we need to, whoops, <laughs> change to our prayer spell. Most staffs are agility, except for this one that I have on right here is a faith-based scaling. All right, we can use this altar for bloodlust short sword. Okay, cool. Open this up. Spider? There is a spider. Let's shoot it down. Oh no, I got a prayer spell on. <laughs> Okay, good enough. Eat those things. We didn't finish the work in the side corridors. The ceiling collapsed. We were told to leave it alone as it makes a good shortcut. From the main catacombs entrance, keep heading left. Eventually you will Take these guys out. This might be the shortest way right now. Oh yeah, here we go. He's not dead? He is dead. Okay. Is he gonna come back My to life? Have started rebuilding the foundations of the West Wing. So we can't so go through here yet, but we will. Out. Yes. Eventually. It contains many secrets, but something like this. We discovered corridors deep in the ground. It looks like the ones save. Know it. Oh yeah, okay. So here's here's actually the uh way to the champion fight. And another rage at him. But we are too soon because we have to go through this whole cell circle area before we can open it all up. Oh, I don't have enough magic. There we go. Get him and his spider? I think so. We got a human skull. Get an audio log. Those two in the rain. So this is one of the two moves. levers we didn't have that we need to, to open, but um, both of them yeah, see, it only case. partially opens. Even if none of them is a murderer, 
Both pretty certain it's just two. Only one of them's a murderer, so we want to save. I think that it's the merchant that's falsely imprisoned that we want to save. Use that. I'm going to spend my XP. Oh, look how close we are to getting one more attribute point. Okay. Can't go to our left just yet. Actually, the key that Yetka gives us earlier in the game jumps you in right where those guys are. Where, sorry, where the, the other side of that gate, and you can unlock the gate. But for now, we're gonna go all the way back to the staircases here, and we'll go upstairs and downstairs. There's an archer here. Go. I'm on fire. It's okay. Jeez. Cannot dodge these arrows, can I? Oh, I didn't refill my potions at the last save point. That's silly. Did I just get two guys or one? In there. Yeah. Oh shoot. Let's get back for a second. Now let's just cast Quake. It says it's only doing 300. I need to try that again when I'm not engaged in a close combat fight. Oh, here's the, this guy. Here we go. <laughs> 681. Use this altar for anything. Okay, just for crafting here. I'm honestly wondering if the greed... Um, oops. If the greed trinket we have equipped it is, is to our benefit or not right now. Can't open that. Yeah, because it's blocked from the other side. That way, that way. So that was... This little area was just for oh, of little course. item. It is a good thing when the evil is eliminated from a person. Evil is gone. But what remains of the person is different. We need to look closer. Whoops. Quake. Well, 1425 is pretty darn good, I'd say. They seem to behave normally. They walk, talk, but in some way they just seem. I'm gonna refill my unreal. potions and expend and spend all my XP. I think right up here is something cool to get. Oh, what just got me? He was, he was down. That was silly. Come on. Attribute point, that's what I like. Okay. That's what I like to see. Nope. Two attribute points. I didn't realize I had one. You should save all your attribute points to the late game so that you don't overspend your XP or whatever use needlessly. Except that's no fun. It's like Skyrim and saving all your spell books. It's just just annoying. Duck out of the way. And there's this guy again. Took him out, huh? Alright. So, pull some levers. And we'll go through this whole cell circle area. Collecting audio logs. Seems to have more instinct than mine. It only okay. wants to kill. We already went through that ago, on the back side. That it seems to fear. The weapon must be imbued with some magic that I don't understand. Like an heirloom. Beast in. I have every Lever handle. To Better to lock it up in cell eleven to keep it safe. <laughs> cell eleven. So we'll search for cell we'll search cell eleven through uh, I think it has a breakable wall. 
Oh, look, you can see the gate opening up. That's fun. Okay, so the champion boss fight gate is opened up completely. We can open this stuff up, and we're about to deal with the um, monk and the thief. I don't think there's anything in there or in here. Okay, so now these guys. Over here. Now, which one's the monk? Which one's the thief? You wake it up. Let me out of here. The jailer's key is right behind you. No. If you open his door, the sound will wake up the beast in my cell. I need to figure out which one's the merchant and let him out. What is going on here? We've both been trapped inside this prison because of him. He's the murderer, but he keeps putting the blame on me. That's because you are the murderer. I'm guessing the one on the right is the merchant. Let's Why see what they say. Both of you out? The sound of the door will wake up the beast behind us. Only one of us will make it out alive. The one with the open cell door. All right. I need to go. So there is this chest that you could open up very early in the game. Get the cell key. I'm going to open up this guy. I'm guessing he's the merchant. And I think that you get something from him, but I am not positive. That did not land, did it? Anything here? No, I'm not getting anything, am I? And that guy ran away. This opens up that door, which we were on the other side of a moment ago. And then here's this. Oh, magic leech armor. Where did I get it? Anyways, that's awesome. I think that it's with each kill. Let's see. Cultist use deeper. Hmm. I think that it's with each kill you absorb magic, which I don't actually really need. I have so much magic. Okay, let's back off of this guy for a second. <laughs> He's like still in his animation and I can't attack him. All right, let's keep going through. I'll look up what that magic leech is for the next, before the next video and see if it's something that we want to use. All right, now let's keep opening all this stuff up. I will need to equip a shield at one point to if open up prison, a wall. Every criminal is branded. The tattoo on his face shows everyone his sins, even if someone manages to escape from prison. He won't escape from his own face. Oh, come on. Trying to get the lock off. There we go, two for one. They brought another man in here yesterday. He was kind of, against Antanas. That kind of looks like it. Family. They need. I can sit here with murderers and thieves, but I just hate these political what? activists. Okay. Did that wrong, didn't I? Let's try that again. Come on, quit rolling. Is this not the right wall? Maybe it's not. No, I'm gonna... Oh, hey, there we go. I swear this is cell 11. Alright, let's take a potion. Okay, we got a potion, and then I still have a really bad roll. I do. It might be okay though. That just really looked like a wall that we could bust open. Oh yeah. So then that the lever's on the other side of that. That we come to later. Is anybody there? Please help. Oh, there's a. An infected monk here that wants Help. us to take care of him. Let's do that. What are you waiting for? <laughs> I can 
feel my eyesight fade. There you go. Spell point shard. He doesn't have a very cool wall, right? Gosh, I'm sick of this silly roll that it's doing every time I release the A button. Did I already use the lever handle that I picked up? I don't know. Whoops. Need to change. There you go. What? <laughs> That was pretty sweet. Was there someone over there? That was weird. This whole thing just happened in a strange way. Here's another guy. Take that. Vanguard blade. Somebody just wake up back there. Sounds like it. Let's double back for a sec. Yeah, okay. Got you. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Don't kill me, come on. Be nice. Take a potion. I thought I had my gauntlet out. Okay, is he going to wake up again? His cells cleared. Ah, get out of there. <laughs> Gosh. Range attacks. Do range attacks. Human skull. Ah. I was not prepared for you, was I? I keep just the locked and hidden parts of the catacombs could be holding more than secrets and sins we are aware of. One of the Rogar lords leading the raid on Keystone has been spotted inside. He killed many of our soldiers before they even recognized the danger. All we know so far is that he somehow feeds on our rage. Let us feed on his. Okay, where is cell 11? I need, there's a cell that I need to break the wall down from and get the heirloom axe. Not this one. Coming across those guys again. Is it in here? Just to make things a little easier, I'm going to unequip this so that I don't do all these little fat rolls. Not that room. Not that room. I swear it's this room. Yeah. That's what I was trying to do the whole the first time. It was the first place was the right place. Heirloom hammer. Okay. So we've got that. Let's unequip our shield and put back on our chest armor. Yeah, we got harmony, huh? I wonder if harmony has any special bonuses. Okay. So we can head back to the champion boss fight and we also want to upgrade heirloom i think heirloom is going to be pretty sweet against defeating ghosts make our way back to the champion boss fight which is not around here okay let's save this is when things get a little confusing in the game huh down I think we go up these stairs here. No. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, we go back through here, up these stairs. I thought that these were the ones I thought I was going to. The pit. Up here. 
Oh, uh, okay. So you could have gone... Let me show you. I'm sorry. This is where the monks were. Uh, the thief and the merchant. And then you head down here. Save. Maybe spend all your points. Okay. Use it again. And now we're going to go and defeat the champion. If he'll let us. So how are my spells against him? 530? Yeah. Thanks. Dodge that. So if you can defeat him without letting him enrage, except for when he like staggers in between. So he's enraged now, but that's okay. Anyways, if you don't let him enrage, um, you'll get you'll get the special unique weapon. Um, but it's okay if he enrages as a transition in his health. And when he's enraged, you just want to totally avoid him. Because he is just lethal. This ram spell is just incredibly awesome against him. He shoots these at you super fast, huh? Jump out of the way. Hey, that didn't hit him when he was running. Do it again? Yeah. <laughs> that knocked him back. Jump out of the way. One more. I don't have my gauntlet. Do I? Face. Gosh, that was so easy. Some of these boss fights are ridiculous as a brawler. That was sweet. Let's get our weapon. Let's see if I got the unique version. Yep, Sting Fist. So there's that guy who wants to talk to us. And isn't there a little side corridor here that's kind of a dead end, but... Oh yeah, okay, so that's the whole pressure plate thing that we got. Um, and it goes into the mines. So, and down in the mines is actually where we're gonna up... where we upgrade our heirloom axe. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, and in the next one we'll upgrade our heirloom axe and head into the citadel on the back side. So, happy gaming, and thanks for watching. Please. We need your help. Hey, over here.